Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kobe and this is Skytech Digital. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this website over here. Okay, and then um, where students can be able to check their results. Okay, so um, the focus is not really about the website creating, but the focus is on the software that students can be able to use to um, create or, or check their own results. So for instance, um, if you know if a student come to the website the student needs to log in before the a student will be able to uh, check his or her uh, results okay so maybe a semester results a term results or whatever results trimester results okay so the person can be able to check it so far as it uh, the 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 the, the, um, the the admin of the website have updated the what um, you know um, the system or the results into the system so um, if um, you come to the website as a user this is what you see first okay so this is a very beautiful website over there school website okay and um, very complete school website with everything in it okay so um, you know when you, you hover over here we have the about us the teachers the courses the events um, testimonials the blog the contact and then results okay so that means that um, anybody who wants to check results over here you can change this um, you know to maybe check results or whatever thing that you want to what uh, place over here but the main focus is to check the results somebody can also apply to the school okay so this is the um, hero session over here very beautiful hero session and then another session with some icons it talks about what the school is all about and then also you go ahead to talk about more about the school over here and then um, you know the college at a glance so uh, how many students are enrolled and all those things you can list them over here and then you know um, the courses that the school offers to can be listed over here and then other you know delivery the what other things about the school that um, you want people you users to also know okay about you know in in um, um, schools website the front page is very important to so make sure that everything um, you list over here or you you design over here should be what something that will be catchy to draw the attention of what of um, you know um, pros uh, prospective students okay so um, like I said the main focus is not about this website because this this website um, was created by you know a free team okay it's just a starter template that i'm using but the focus is about how students can be able to check their results on the website so a database result system where students can be able to check their what their results for so if a student click on results over here now check what happens it will tell the student to what to log in okay so you have to log in to be able to check your results so let's say um I am logging in as what as the student okay so I log in over here and then I click on login now the results page opens for me and then if you look at the top over here I have my account the results and then what log out over here so I have the results page open for me now I can um, you know select the the results I want to what I want to check so this is the final exams that I want to check and then I'll input my registration number over there so I just you know check my um, uh, input my registration number and then I click on submit now it will retrieve my results for me so as you can see down here you see the name of the person the enrollment number the registration number and then the date of birth if you know it has been updated will be over here the department that the person is in it the badge and then the semester okay and then this is the resource that comes so english mathematics computer science um, biology uh, you know chemistry all the results the marks that the person obtained the grade everything will be shown over here and then it will be computed and then you will get what um, the final what marks obtained and then the gpa2 will be what will be written and then the final results will be what will also be written over here so if the person failed you realize that the person was failed okay now this is the the kind of um, you know system that we are going to create for this particular website so li like I said the main 
like I said, the main focus is not on the website itself. The main focus is on the system. Okay, so we are going to import a starter template to help us with um, get a, s a website to be able to um, you know install this system on it so that it will function or it will run. So if the student want to print the results, the student can what click over here to print the results. Okay, the student can print the results over here. So as you can see, you can go ahead to print the results as a PDF, save it as a PDF or even print it from your computer. So that is it. So this is the kind of website that we are going to create today. So if you are um, new to the channel, please I will entreat you to subscribe to the channel so that um, whenever we have this kind of you know tips and tricks to help you um, grow your business or to help you develop skills that web design skills and web WordPress, you know, skills, you'll be able to what, jump into it and then also learn along. Okay. So, um, subscribe to the channel and like the video and share. Now, if you have also have any kind of like, you know, um, software that can be able to do this kind of things, just let me know in the comment section so that I also check it out. Okay. Yeah. So, um, let's jump into the video. <laughs> Okay guys, so um, before we start everything, you need to have a WordPress installed, okay? So you need to have WordPress installed on your on your machine, on your hosting or e anywhere you are trying to design it. So what you need to start this website is what? Um, have a domain name and then also have a hosting and then install WordPress on your hosting. Now, if you don't know how to install WordPress on your hosting, um, I have a video which um, you know talks about how to install WordPress and then also I have a video which um, if you want to just practice you know web designing or how to use WordPress I have a video whereby you can install WordPress on your computer okay and then also I have a video where you can buy cheap domains and cheap hostings okay so um, I will put all in the um, description I'll put all the links in the description so that you can what you can be able to what, access it but what you need most is what is what I have over here so you need to have WordPress installed now as at now as at the time I'm recording this video the latest version is what um, 5.93 okay so that is what I have installed on my what on my hosting now um, what after getting WordPress installed what you need is also um, a team okay now guys teams I always say this teams are the um the foundation of your website okay so they they are the ones that shape your website okay so since you are going to create um a website a school website what we need is a team that will be able to help us what create that what that website but before we even do that i want us to do some few settings of wordpress okay so let's go to um settings over here okay and then go to general now make sure that you set your site name your everything uh, tagline everything is in place okay if your website uses um you know um is secured make sure that you have https here okay it shouldn't be http okay and then also um admin email and all other things that you have to what you have to set it up okay so for us our website is what is um a membership website because we want students to also uh, you know register on the website and then you can choose between all these you know um, uh, default rule to make it to a default okay now um, the next one that we're going to do is just to click on um, save over here now I want to choose uh, before I go I want to choose my time zone okay I want it to be Accra okay very good and then I'll just you know the English everything is okay I'll just um, click on save now fine now that we have this one then let's move ahead to go to permalinks okay that is the next thing that we're going to do now we want our permalinks or our links our site links to be what and um, very simple and um, uh, unique so that people will be able to what, easily identify it that is why we are going to use post names okay so that anything that comes after our main uh, domain will be a very simple post 
okay uh, uh, say simple word, sample post okay so for instance if we have um uh, contact us it shouldn't be maybe the uh, the date or whatever it is before the contact or it shouldn't be the the page id okay it just have to be what contact us okay just as simple as that and let's click save over here okay now that we have this one done then the next step that we're going to do is to install our team okay now to install a team you can go to um, you know wordpress you can hover over here okay appearance over here we have teams over here okay now as you can see this is the uh, team that we are using if you check the website let's check the website and see if you check the website this is um the, the team that we are what we are what we are using now okay but this is not what we want okay we don't want this thing we want a ready-made you know template to start our website on and that is why we will click on add new over here and then we are not going to install any team over here because the team that we are looking for is not here but what we are going to do is we're going to upload the team so to get the team first um click uh, open a new tab and then type in kitech digital slash rishi team okay this is what we're going to um install and then click you know just tap your enter click enter or tap enter and then it will open a new tab for you okay that is where we're going to what, install the team from so these people are very very good team providers okay so their teams are what um very nice very you know um i don't know how to say they have so many ready-made templates for you to choose from okay and that is why we're going to use um their what their teams their teams are very fast to use they have so many ready-made templates to choose from so that and then the team is also free and so they have so many customizations that you can do on your own and that is why we're going to do so as you are here just click on free download or you can download rishi for free okay so just click on free download okay just enter your email address your name and then last name and then what just click on download i have already downloaded it so i'm not going to what download it again but just enter your email address your first name your last name and then click on what download okay now mine is already downloaded so i'm just going to after you download it what you have to do is what just click over here upload team and then choose the file okay so i'm going to choose the file where my team is now my team is um i'm going to look for uh where is it 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 yeah this one no not this one where is it 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 yeah it's over here so i'm going to look for this one okay this is the rishi team and then i'll i'll just click open and then after it is done i'll click on what install to install the team so when the team is installed all we need to do is to click on activate in the middle over here so click on activate to activate the team okay great so we have what activated the team now at the moment you activate the team you see this notice over here okay thank you for installing rishi team we recommend that you install this um, rishi companion so let's click over here to install the companion okay very good so now that we have this companion over here okay what do we have to do the next step is to click over here click over here which says to a starter site okay so click over here now you'll be brought to this page click over here okay install rishi starter template just click on it it will install a demo um importer for you and then it will you know you it will present to you so many well starter templates for you to choose from okay so as you can see we have there are a lot of what starter templates that we what we have to choose from okay a lot of them some are um free some are also pro okay so what we are looking for is a free starter template so we're going to search for school over here and then see if i'll find the school let me search again and see i'm coming let me go over here search for free 
but we're still loading so there are a lot of starter templates over here but like i said we are looking for a school starter template so let's see if you find a school okay let it load let it continue loading and then let's see the school will pop up where is the school yes so this is what we are looking for okay so we should have even type education education so this is what we're looking for okay this one yeah this one so what we're going to do is what just it's called minimal education okay so just click on import over here and then it will ask you whether you want to import the complete site or you want to import what um, the home template okay so we want to import the complete site you can click over here to take a look at how the the whole um, you know website will look like okay but you want to import the complete site so we click over here and then it will, it will you know check these settings for you make sure that all of them are ticked okay except this one okay unless maybe you have um, installed uh, a starter template already but if not just click on what import and then it will start importing the template and installing all the recommended what plugins for us okay sweet so our template is what imported successfully as you can see we can go ahead to visit our website so our website is what completely done and this is the newly website created for us using the free template that we what we imported okay so um, this is what the website completely done over here everything is what working perfectly so guys now that we have everything set up now the next thing that we are going to do is to um, install um, some plugins that will help us be able to you know get the the students you know um, um, student results that we want okay so we'll go back to the dashboard now you can you can you can go ahead to customize your your um, you know you can go ahead to customize the team to make it the way you want it but I'm not going to do anything I'm not going to do anything because um, I just want to show you the um, the results itself okay the results um, session of the website that is what I want to show you the the plugin that I used okay so if you go back over here now let's hover on plugins over here and then click on add new okay so we have um, the plugin session over here if you don't know how to install a pl plugin it is not difficult just search for the plugin that you are looking for and then you have it over here so what we're going to look for is what um, easy results just search for easy results or easy student results okay easy student results this just this way easy student results okay and then you'll be presented with this plugin now i know some people will say oh last updated two years ago yes but this plugin works exactly perfectly like the way i want it to work okay and that is the plugin that we're going to install so what we have to do is we'll just click on install now and then click on activate okay very good so at the moment you activate the plugin you're supposed to get this um you know menu item over here which says your student results okay so as you can see over here we have our student results over here now you can go we can go through the settings so first let's go to the settings over here and look at the settings of the plugin okay so um this is basically you know how the plugin is what the short code of the plugin is set up okay so um select exam text if you want to select exam this is it everything that you want the plugin to be for you you can set it over here this is the general settings too okay so if you want to disable something you can set it over here and then the short code to um that is for student short code okay so if you want to list uh student student short code whatever you want it to, to show you can watch um you know um, write it over here okay change the text to whatever text that you want okay so so basically we're not going to do anything over here now first what we're going to do is guys if you cannot follow my instruction over here now these people have their their website over here okay so this is the 
the plugins website okay as you can see it is free okay but they have some add-ons that will help you so you can what check them out so this is what the the, the um, you know the the plugin itself their website they don't have much information over here but then all what they have over here is what is you perfectly describe what the plugin does okay so let's jump into um, the website itself and then let's start from department now you know every school have department okay so you have various departments so um, let's take the school as what um, let's say a high school okay so um, in a high school what kind of department we have maybe um, the science department the English department the music department you know any kind of what the arts department all those kind of departments you can what you can you know list them here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, our our website okay and then let me see let's look at our courses over here here our courses okay and then based on the courses that we have we we'll set the department based on it okay so this is what we have the medical the art the computer science the law um, engineering and then what and then business so we will say maybe school of business school of engineering maybe you know the law department computer science department arts department and then what medical um, school of medicine okay so let's let's um, you know list them and then see what happens so let's say um, the first department that we're going to list is what um, school of business okay so i'm going to copy this one cut it over there now if you see over here it says what department or class name and then they want you to write the short name of it okay so school of business i'll say what maybe business school bs okay i'll use what bs as what business school okay and then um, the department slag okay y you can write anything so i'll just write what business okay and then the full name is what i write to a school of what business over here okay and then you can give a description for it and then the total credit for that department okay total credit that anybody who goes to that department needs to complete you can what you know list it over here so let's say the uh, total credit of 54 okay and then if you want it to be active you can you know select active if you want it to be inactive you can select inactive and then let's click on what add new so this way you can add a whole lot of what department over here okay let me add another one let's say um computer science engineering so computer science okay cs and then the slug is what computer and then the full name is what computer science okay and then the total credit i also use what 54 and then i'll click it okay so let's say we have these two departments okay i don't want the video to be long so let's say we have this two, two department now at the moment you you um you know you set up the department for it it will tell you to what configure the, what the semester for each department okay so how many semesters do you have for the department you click on configure and then you write it so we have semester one okay or maybe term one or maybe trimester however your um you know your school is you can what list it over there and then i'll click on add semester and then i'll write semester two and then i'll click on add semester okay so i have two semesters over here now i'm done with it i'll go back to the department again and then i'll i'll click on the second one which is computer science and then i'll also do the same thing configure the word the semester so semester one i'll add it semester two i'll add it okay i'm done with this one now the department is what is complete you can add so many departments that you have in your school okay depending on what depending on you now the next one is what the badge okay so the badges you can use maybe badge one badge two or badge three but then i'm going to what, use what year okay so we have we don't have any badge over here so i'm going to click this one and then the badge uh, or the year so i'm going to use 2022 okay as the what as the badge 
but maybe somebody can use what first badge second badge or maybe um uh, maybe uh, form one form two whatever thing that you want okay so i'm going to what um, use you know badge as the year and then you you can based on the badge you can what select you know the department over here so department or class okay and then the 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 session okay the session when um it starts from okay so you can what you can you know enable it okay so let's say um we are starting from march okay 2022 and then it is what active so we add it okay so it is over here now let's add the another badge for computer science also so the same 2022 computer science okay let's choose it and then it also started with march okay let's add it okay so we have what two um you know badges over here okay now the next one is what student okay so um definitely you need to have students to enroll in those um you know um, department okay so we are going to add student to it and then the student name i'll say um the first one will be what john doe okay and then you can give what registration numbers to it the student okay the class you know row number so class row number um you know if the person is one two three or whatever how many people are in the class but each person have what a row number okay so i'm going to give this one as what one and then um the department that the person is so this is business school this is what computer science so he's in what a business school and then um the badge okay so you can select badges from here if you have so many badges and then um the semester if it is you know second semester first semester the person enrolled you can what you can change it and then the what the if the person have a library card you can what also what you know list it over here and then the father's name so you can you know just give some names to what the person okay is the person a male or female yes the date of birth you choose um you know date of birth for the person okay so depending on um, and then the email address so you can choose any email address for what for the person so i'm going to use this one and then the contact number the contact number to you can what choose it for the person then if the person's black group you know you can you know it uh, put it over there so if the person is what b positive or a positive or whatever it is you can what add it over there the religion then the nationality okay all of them you can what you can put it over there and then the address of the person you can fill all these ones okay i'm not going to fill all these ones i just want to show you and then you can what add a featured what image so i'm going to add um you know featured image i'm going to choose from here i'm going to select uh, maybe this guy over here and then i'll set it as a, with the featured image and then i'll publish okay so now we have what we have one student published now let's add another student okay so let's add another one student so this one too we're going to call uh, maybe this one is what a lady so let's say um esther johnson okay and then the enrollment we're going to give that person this one and then um the you know the number will be two the class will be let's say computer science and then the year the semester we also choose semester one the library card if the person have so let's say the same names for the the this ones okay so let's say this one is what johnson and this one too is what johnson okay and then the person is what male the date of birth so you can choose what you know the date of birth for the person and then yeah maybe first me and then the email address you can also what decide to choose any email address for the person 
and then you know the contact number so whatever contact number the person is is having you can what you know put it over there for the person so let's say um zero zero two four four five 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 anything okay so the blood group so this one is what a and then let's say um religion to maybe muslim and then nationality to let's say the person is also still Ghanaian. okay so you can just you know um, enter this kind of details for the person and then you know set a featured image to for the person okay so let's choose this lady over here and then you what you publish now we have two students what enrolled in the school okay in two different departments so let's go to courses over here okay so if you click on student let's check the student you see that we have two students over here okay all enrolled in semester one okay so that is it now let's go to courses over here so for the courses we have to add courses okay and the each department have their own courses so let's add the courses for the department so um let's say computer science department what course would they offer so let's say they are offering um computer science department we will be offering let's say computer science so let's say computer science okay so they will be offering computer science and then um the course code we can give it to what any course code so let's say cs003 and then the department is a computer science and then the semester is what semester one under this course they are offering it on semester one and then you know course detail information so the total max is 100 the total credit okay how many credits so let's say eight okay is it theory or what uh, lab work okay so you can what decide to, or is it a project or a thesis you can decide to choose between it okay so let's say it is what it is lab and then the prerequisite course okay what kind of um, course do the person have to take before the person take this one you can write it over here okay but i'm not going to waste time over there and then i would i publish it okay now i have this one set up i'll go to another course so this one i'm going to say maybe um english okay and then the course is what course code is this one um it is also computer science okay and then um semester is what semester one okay the total max total credit let's say 12 it is theory okay all those things and then you click on it and then let's say um the next one too is what mathematics okay so so let's say mathematics okay the course code so what is the course code so let's say this one okay so it is still under computer science the uh, department uh, the semester is semester one max is 100 credit so let's say credit is what 14 and then total is it theory or lab it is theory and then um, prerequisite we will leave it like that okay so we have three courses what registered now let's pick the next one okay so the next course that we're going to register is also um let's say under computer science let's say they do um let's say big data okay so what is the course um you know code so let's say bd 0023 okay that is the course code and then it is also what under computer science and then the semester is what semester one total max 100 credit let's say 12 it is theory okay so let's move ahead to create some courses for um the other um, you know department so let's go to um, add course again and then with this one the department is what business so business school let's say they are offering accounting okay so under accounting we have what um let's say acc 0222 
okay and then it is what a business and then the semester is semester one the max is what 100 co credit is what you need to have 24 or let's say 12 and then it is what theory and then we click on publish so we add some few courses let me add some f other few courses to it so let me go ahead to add another course okay so let me say um, accounting okay they also do mathematics mathematics and then the course code is what this one okay and then um, department you also put it there and then semester and then total max okay you give it the core credit so let's say the core credit is what eight um, the cost credit is eight and then this what theory we we publish it okay and then another one to we say they do it, let's say economics okay so economics okay so let's say e c yeah e c zero nine 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 okay semester we select it we select the we, we enter our um, course credit and all those things and then we would we publish it okay so let's choose the last one let's do the last one which is let's say um business management business management so bm0087 okay we select the semester and then we give it this one um this one and then what the it is what also theory and then we publish it so now that we have our courses um all our courses done our next one that we have to go is to go for the grade it is what this is the grade calculation that they have over here okay so this is the you can add your own grade okay but this is the system grade calculation that they have over here so if you want to edit it you can edit it you know the way you want it but i'm going to leave it just like that now let's go to exam okay so what kind of exam do you have so let's say we have a um, first semester exam second semester exam or final exam okay so i'm going to say they are writing final exam okay so the exam name is what um final exam or maybe you have writing mid same exam or whatever it is so final exam and then the um, exam month when are they writing so let's say they are writing it in april okay and then they select exam year that is the year and then display on front end search yes and then active it is active so let's add it okay so this is what the final exam that we've what we've added okay so now that we've added the final exams let's go to what results now we assume that they've written the exams okay let's assume that maybe they wrote the exams on 10th what april okay so they've written the exams now let's add the exam record this is where you add your what the student's exam record so add record and then this is what the final exams okay now the department is what computer science and then we have one student under it so as you can see one student is enrolled under what um business okay this one but if you change it to this one you, s you see the course changes okay yeah and there is no what no nothing found let's change the semester and see yeah so you see the courses what drops over here okay so that is what the same thing so let's start from here first okay and then let's choose the semester and then let's select this student so if you have so many students all of them their names will be out, will be here so let's select this student and then we want it to show on front head and then let's what add exam what record so this is what for um you know the first student okay so we can also decide to what add what the max over there okay we can decide to add the max over there so let's we can also decide to edit 
it okay so you can edit you can decide to edit it and update it okay so let's let's go back and then we can add about the max over there okay so let's add the max and then we can add the max for what this person okay so let's add the max for this person okay so this is what accounting mathematics economics business management so accounting what did the person um, you know get okay so the person maybe the person got um, let's say the person got 18 accounting let's say the person got 76 in um, mathematics and then let's say the person got 56 in what in um, economics and then got maybe 90 in what in um business management so this is what this is the percentage that the person would obtained okay now over here you choose um, it, it doesn't select automatically you have to what you have to choose the grade that is for this person so this is where you the exams the grade what also takes effect so let's go to the grade itself and let's check the grade okay so this is what this is the grade so you compare what the grade over here so 80 falls in what a plus right as you can see and then um which one again 76 falls in what a okay 76 is a so we change this one to a and then 56 falls where let's look at 56 56 falls in what b minus okay so we change this one to what b minus and then um which one is this one and then 90 also is what a okay so basically this is it so you realize that the person got percentage of what 75 overall okay over here so overall 75 is under what is under a okay so 75 should be under a let's check and see yeah very good 75 is under a and the gpa is what 3.75 so you type it you you, you type it over 3.75 okay that is the gpa and then the final resource is what is distinction okay this one so we copy this one and then we paste it over here distinction and then we can what we can update it okay so we have what updated it okay now now that we have our what our results updated now let's check um to see we have to check it on the front end so let's say somebody comes to our website okay and then wants to what wants to check their results right wants to check their results how would the person be able to check the result the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we create a page okay so we're gonna create a page we're gonna create a page hover on pages and create a page okay and then you know name the page maybe results okay yeah or results or checking however you want to name it okay and then I want it to be what I want to use the full width over here okay and then I want to style it a little bit so I want to use um the cover over here and then i want to up up um, up um you know set an image for it so let me say um let me say i want to use this image okay let's say i want to use this image okay very good and then i'll say maybe um check your results okay now you cannot see it properly okay so what we're going to do is we click on this ranch icon over here and then we are going to change the color of the text to white okay so that you can what you can see it what properly and then we will change the size okay we'll change the size to let's say 50 okay very good so that it will what it will be a little bit bold okay okay so we change it to 50 50 is okay 
or let's say 55 here yeah. so now that we have it you know over here bold what we're going to do is we we'll click on this one and then with this one we're going to set it to what you know full um, width over here okay we want it to be full width okay so that is it and then what we're going to do is we will create we'll click over here and then give it a small space over here and then click over here and then select this short code okay because we're going to paste the short code of the results checking over there so let's go to this page over here that is why i told you to have this page okay so let's go to this page over here. And now you see add a new short code so this one shows the results okay but we want this one because this one will allow users to be able to check their results using registration number okay and that is what we want so we copy this one and then we'll come over here and then we'll paste it over here okay so now that we paste it over here i still want to create okay so now let's you know let's publish it okay now i want to do something i want to go to here and then see how it looks like okay so this is exactly how it looks like okay now what i want to do is i want to click over here and then um, come to page title and then i want to disable the page title okay very good now i want to go to design over here okay so let me go over here to general and then come over here to what content area or you know the vertical spacing here yeah, over here i want it to be what to be this way only bottom okay yeah i want it to be only bottom and then i will just click on what update now let's take a look at how the website the the page looks like on the front end okay so this is how it looks like okay this is how it looks like but this is this is not what we really want because you know there's a space over here there's a space over here so let's go back and then see um, what we can do about it so let's pick this one as what as full width okay let's pick this one as full width and then let's click over here and then over here to let me see let me use this full width and see if it works okay now i'll click over here and refresh it and see what happens yes so guys as you can see it works perfectly okay so this is what this is what we want okay now at the moment somebody comes over here to check the person can be able to uh, check his or her results okay and then submit it so let's say um, we want to check the results of what um, you know the other person so let's go to student results and let's go to student okay so i want to pick you know um this one this one over here and then come and then paste it over here and submit now guys as you can see the results is shown over here okay perfectly done over here so that is how you can be able to add this one to any website that you have okay so now that we have it this way now we need to show it over here so that somebody can be able to what you know we need to show that uh, it on the menu so that somebody can be able to what click on it and then check his or her results so let's go to the the um, back end and then go over on appearance and then come to what menu okay so we're going to um you know select the menu over here so let's click on menu and then go to a primary menu okay and let's click on it now this is our primary menu okay but what i'm going to do is i'm going to you know um make sure that the teachers is under what under um about us okay and then yeah so if you have it like this then i can add the um the results checking that i i created right now i'll add it over here okay so i'm just going to what um remove this one and make it resource check okay or check resource okay so i'll just click on what 
um, save menu now if you go to over here and then we click on home we have to see what check results over here okay so anybody can come over here and then click on this one to check his or her what results okay but guys this is not what we want we want anybody who wants to check their results to be able to log into the website before the person can see this what this thing over here so now what we're going to do is we're going to install a plugin that will add another functionality to what to our website okay so now let's go to plugins add new and then click on um, search for ultimate ultimate member so this is the plugin that we are looking for okay as you can see you have about 200,000 active installations so we click on what install now and then we activate it and then we click on activate okay so at the moment you activate the plugin guys take note of this one okay ultimate member needs to create several pages so we need to create all these pages for us okay so just click over here create pages if you click on no thanks you don't have any page okay and then we'll create all these pages and set it at its place for you automatically so now that these uh, pages are created now if you go to our pages over here and then we click on all pages you will see that a lot of pages has been created so the ones with what um 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 are all what are all ultimate what member um, pages okay so we have this one what all created for us so now what we are going to do is we are going to go to appearance again create different menu for it okay we're going to create a different menu now let's create now let's create menu okay before we even go go to create menu now what i want to do is i want to restrict this particular what this particular um, um you know resource check so that people cannot just click on it or see it they only see it when they la they are logged in okay or they can only um you know uh, I, I will restrict it in such a way that they can only um check it unless they are what they are logged in okay so i'm i'm going to do what i'm going to do is i'm going to you know leave it over here i will let everybody see it but you can only see it when you are logged in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um you know click here and then logged in users over here okay so now i will choose subscribers for it okay now i want to also choose administrator because i want to also see it okay so i'll choose administrator too for it and then all what i'm going to do is what to click on save menu okay now we're going to create different menus so that we add different items to it so that is what we're going to do so i want to create um, a new menu and with the new menu i want to call it student student so let's say student okay and then i'll click on what create i will not assign it to any any um you know header i'll just click on create now what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, bring all the you know the ones that i want so i want account i want the logout i want register i want um i don't want register i want login and then i also want resource checking okay and then now what I'll so, so i want this ones okay now with this ones what i'm going to do is i'll bring this one over here i'll bring this one over here so what i'm going to do is i'll select this one okay and then i'll click over here and i'll say only logged in user can see this one okay and i'll select subscriber and then what administrator and i'll click over here the same thing applies to this one only logged in user can see it okay so i'll click this one i'll click over here and then i'll what i'll select administrator and i'll select subscriber okay and then with this one i'll say only logged out user can see it okay oh logged out user yeah all logged out users can see it okay 
and then we just want to log in with user this one if you are logged in before you can be able to log out so if you want to give anybody over here you can what give depending on uh, the kind of plugins that you have that will give you all these things okay the user rules so i'll just click over here and then with this one i'll rename it to what login register okay so very good so and then i what i'll save it okay so now that we have it saved what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to um appearance again hover on appearance over here again and then down here i'll choose customize because i want to place this menu the student menu on the um header okay so i'll click on customize and then i'll place the student menu on the header because as of now it is not under any header so if you go go to here and then you refresh it you will not see the menu that we created unless we set it to be somewhere we want and we want it to be at the top over here okay so now that we have our customizer open what we're going to do is um we click on header to build header you see this is why i like i like this team this team gives you what a header builder okay so you can build the header the way you want it okay so i want the menu to be here to be somewhere here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this i'm going to move this menu over here okay in the middle over here depending on where you want it if you want it to be um you know this way you can also what place it over here okay depending on where you want it but i want it over here or if you want it to be at the top over here too you can place it over there but i want it over here okay and then after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this um, you know pen icon or pencil icon over here and then if you come over here select menu i'll choose the menu as what student okay and then i'll what i'll click on publish so at the moment i choose as you can see it is showing over here okay so when we go over here and then we refresh the website we see this what menu shown over here okay and then guys remember this one can only be seen by those who are what logged in okay so let's copy this one and open a new new incognito window a new uh, you know browser and then let's paste it in over here and then see what happens so as you can see we s they says what login or register over here okay so when we click this one it will bring us to what the login page over here okay and then when you click over here you can it will also give you the what the um, you know the register page over here so if you are logged in you'll be able to what um let me go back to login if you are if you if you want to what register so let's say i want to register on the website okay so i want to register with um let's say kobe okay so kobe and then i'll say k and then i'll say kobe oh what am i writing and i'll say kobe okay and then i'll bring maybe my email address so let's say this one okay and then i'll choose a password i'll choose a password i'll confirm the password okay and then i'll click on register okay very good so at the moment i register i have my dashboard over here and then you guys see i have this one showing over here okay so i can click on here to check my results and then this one also what will come and then i can click over here to check my results okay i can you know go ahead to what to check the results that i want to what that i want to check okay so let's try this one and see you see student not found in the database okay it means that the results this person's results is not in the database so let's go ahead and then use the second one 
and this one comes over here okay so basically this is how you can be able to what, create this kind of what website a school website without you know um, um, without you know uh, having to buy a lot of things or you know waste money on it okay so I showed you how you can get this free team and this free template over here whereby you can just edit it with what Elementor okay and then also show you how you can be able to what use this what results checking thing to be able to what, check your results okay so I hope this video um, helps you a lot please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and please forward this video to people who need it so that they can be also be able to what, watch it and learn okay so see you in the next video thank you for watching bye bye